Hello, Araceli. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. Good. What happened yesterday? Uh, yesterday, I honestly, teacher, I, I felt tired. Tired. And the Wi Fi keeps giving me problem. Yes. I imagine that the reason why you didn't I connect. Yes, I imagine. Yes. I imagine. Yes. But today is different. It's a different story. Okay. How was your day today? Did you have a good day? Uh, today I, uh, I I have a good day. Good. What time did you finish working? What time did you finish work? What time? Yes. What time did you finish? Five five p.m. 5 p.m. Okay. And what time did you start? Eight. Okay. From eight to five. Eight. Yes. Yeah. And that is your normal schedule every day? And, and the pandemia, my schedule like is eight to 3 p.m. Okay. At 3 p.m. All right. Good. Okay, so it's good to see you again, Araceli. It's good to have you back. Ronald, how was your day? Good evening, teacher. Sorry, I It was good, thanks. Okay. Did you work today, Ronald? Yeah, I went to my office to 7.30 to around six o'clock. All day? All day. And I imagine that you dress formal. Uh, nowadays, I, I go informal. Casual? Casual. But uh, before coronavirus, I wear a tie, suit, for example. Right, right. Yeah. Y yeah, that is the traditional dress code for people that work in a bank. Very formal. In my case, in my case, because I am a lawyer, that is the that is normal. Yeah, it's standard. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Hello, Maria. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm finding you. Good. I'm doing okay. Thank you. How was your day? Uh, very fine. Thank you. <laughs> Did you work? No, I rest. Okay, you rested. Okay. Yeah. What are your days off, Maria? You work every other day. Mm. In this case, I uh, accumulate uh, hours. Uh huh. So my 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 supervisor give me a a few days. Okay. Good. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, resting is, is necessary. Yes. <laughs> is San Miguel back to normal now? 
Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I, I, in yesterday uh, and today, I, I just in my house. I. You didn't go out. Yes. Okay. Good. Good. All right. So welcome back, everybody. What is today's date? Can someone tell me? August twenty fifth. August 25th. Yes, Jose. 25th. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. 25th. <laughs> 25th. Why? What's What's the reason we say 25th and not 25, Jose? Uh, because in a date, uh, we use the ordinal. Very good. Very good. And you're the expert with numbers. You're a mathematics teacher. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so the numbers shouldn't be a problem for you. Okay, good. Yeah, so today is the 25th, August 25th. What's the year? 2020. 2020. All right, good. So let's begin. Um, do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? Class, do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? We practice with a conversation. Okay. And Which... after that, uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. sorry teacher. No, go ahead, go ahead. And after that, uh, we learn about some vocabulary. Okay, good. Do you remember uh, the topic in the conversation? Yeah, it's about schedules from... Right. Uh -huh. Yes, and today we will continue uh, working with schedules. Yes. How do you say turnos in English? Shift. Shift. What are the names of the three regular shifts in El Salvador? Like Josué Gardo, he's a teacher. What time do you think he works? Morning shift. Morning shift. Okay. What is the next shift? Uh, afternoon shift. Yes. And the last uh, one? Night, night shift or graveyard. 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 Yes. Night shift or graveyard. Yes. How many hours are we supposed to work in El Salvador on a weekly basis? Do you remember how many hours are Salvadorians? Eight, eight. eight hours. Eight hours a day. So how many hours weekly? 44. 44. Yeah, 44. 40. It depends on every institution. Yes. What happens if you work graveyard? 40. 40, 39. It depends on the company that you work for. Okay. Now, in your opinion, what is the best schedule? Morning, afternoon, or graveyard? Morning. Morning. Okay. So, do you guys like to wake up early? Uh, no, but it's, <laughs> it's better. <laughs> yes. That, uh, the others. Yes. Right. I think the afternoon shift is uh, is really good, but if you are an early bird and you go to bed early, you know, finishing at ten or eleven might interfere with your with your schedule with the time you go to sleep and everything. Okay, all right. Um, any questions or any comments about yesterday class? No. Okay, so let's begin. Let me open the book. Book is right here. New share. We are on page 26. So if you have the book with you, please open to page 26. Loading, loading, loading. 
right there. You know, I change companies to have a faster and better internet, but I don't think I'm getting Robots. Uh, the, the, all the service that they promised. But anyways, we're in El Salvador. 20, 23, 24, 25. This is what we finished yesterday. And now we go here. Okay. Monitoring personnel. What is the meaning of monitoring? What do you understand from that word? Monitoring. Like a supervisor? Yes. No. Yes, okay. monitoring means to supervise, to watch others, and so on. So group 18 is right here. So the first exercise is related with um, vocabulary. As you guys can see, we have work schedule, break, shift, overtime, and call in. Are there any questions with um, with that vocabulary? Any questions or comments? Where is the meaning of calling? Okay, does anybody recognize calling? Calling. Calling is when you literally call your office to tell them that you have inconvenience to be present or to report that you will be a little bit late. So look, I'm in Los Chorros and there is a lot of traffic, so I'm going to be late. So you're calling in. Mm. Yeah. To call in mm. means to report that there is an, you're having inconvenience to either arrive to work or to arrive on time. Okay. okay. All right. So if you guys don't have any other any other questions on part five. No. Okay. So I will assign you to work in pairs. Please do part five and part six. Part six is about analyzing this um, schedule here. After you analyze and you understand all the information, you have to answer questions one through five. Um, any questions before you start working? No? So let me make the rooms. Hmm. Breakout rooms. What's going on? Why? Hold on. So what's the reason? I must be doing something wrong here. <clears throat> Hold on. Breakout rooms. Okay, so so I have this here and I will move her to room five and let me add a couple of rooms. All right, here we go. Christian Alexander. 
Hi, teacher. How are you, Christian? I am fine. Very good. good. All you? right, nice. I'm doing okay. I sent you to room five to work with Coralia, but I don't understand why the room is not reading uh, your assignment. So let me let me reassign the room two. Okay. So I have Maria del Carmen. I will move her to room six and I will move you to room six as well. Okay, give me a okay. second. All okay, right. thank you. Good. Jimena. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine, I'm fine. <laughs> Good. We missed you yesterday. Yes, I have a, a, a situation, a familiar situation. Okay. But everything is okay, yes. Nice, very good. Mm -hmm. So you're working with Ronald right now? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good, nice. Okay, thank you. All right. Or, or rest. This is the break. Break, uh-huh, break, uh -huh. okay. Yes, uh, when you work more, than the regular working hours in a day or week. Mm -hmm. Overtime. Overtime. Uh -huh, okay, overtime, yes. In Spanish? Uh, hora extra. Hora extra. Uh -huh. Overtime. Yeah. How do you say medio tiempo in English? Mid time. Part time. Part -time. Uh, part time. Yeah, part time. So part you have time. full time, part time, and overtime. So those are the three terms that people usually use in an office. So you work from eight in the morning to five p.m. That is full time. Mm -hmm. If you work only the mornings, that is part time. Mm -hmm. If you work extra time that is called overtime. Okay. Mm, okay. Yes. Uh, middle time is incorrect. Yes, it's incorrect. So you're supposed ah, to okay. say part-time. Ah, okay. Thank yes, you. all right. Thank you, teacher. Good. Lugar de trabajo, informe que va a ser quitado y la tarde. Colin. Exactly. Yes. And number three, the calling, that's it from your, your workplace. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Te teacher, I have a question. Yes, ask me. How do you say <laughs> consume, teacher? Uh, <laughs> spice. A spice. Spice. Yes. So when you prepare chicken or meat, you use different spices. Okay. Yeah. Mm. S -R -I -C -E. okay. S-P-I-C-E. Okay. S-P-I-C-E. Got it? Yesterday we were, okay, yesterday we were talking and that is not a thing. How to say? Okay, yeah, <laughs> spices. Yes. It's spicy. Do you cook, Fernando? I, I no, teacher. You don't cook. No, teacher. All right. I don't cook. <laughs> okay, that's okay. The day when a person work, she. In Spanish, what's the meaning? Uh, uh, is el turno. Ah, uh, turno. Chief. Rocio, you're back. Hello. <clears throat> Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. How are you? I'm okay, teacher. Thank you. Good. Uh, Rocio, do you work the morning shift, the afternoon shift, or the night shift? Morning and afternoon shift. All right. Good. <laughs> it's good to see you again, Rocio. Thank you, teacher. All right. 
sure. when is the day off of the dishwasher? I think it's when Wednesday. Wednesday, said. Wednesday is the day off. Hello, ladies. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How was your day? Very, very good. <laughs> okay. Did you work? Yes, I work. Okay. So yes. your your schedule is back to normal, Coralia? Uh, no yet. Not but, yet. Not yet, but um, we start to to with the activities more. And we have uh, more activities than the, the the past year, the past year, not the past day. The the past month, maybe. Yes, the past month. <laughs> okay, and you, Magdalena, is your schedule back to normal? Yes, teacher. Um, the the were in the normal uh, schedule. Schedule. Okay. okay. How many hours do you work, Magdalena? Mm, repeat. How many hours do you work? The work. Um, the the first in in the check-in time. Um, in the six six a.m. From six a.m. Uh huh. Um, Thirteen. I sleep and the. Emerging, huh? Uh, um, linear. How many How many hours do you work every day, Magdalena? Seven hours, eight hours. Um, today, uh, ten hours. Ten hours. Okay. Mm -hmm. Long day. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, good. So let me visit some other of your classmates. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Teacher. Stephanie, you're back. Aquí estoy, teacher. Good. Late. Very late. good. Don't worry, don't worry. Better late than never. Okay, thank you. Welcome back. Thank you, teacher. Good. Yeah. Hello, Marcela. Hello. Anaraceli, Marcela, hello. 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 I have four people in this group. Yes, yes, teacher. My yes, goodness. it's a good, a we big like group. In this way. <laughs> Yes, when you have three or more people, it's more communicative. Yes, can be. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. Has any problem? I know in my house, so I don't know if it's a problem that I don't use the, the camera. You know, according to the instructions from InsaForb, um, you should have your camera on. So, and what's the reason that you say uh, that, that you have in this situation? I'm not in my house and I don't have, uh, oh. I'm working. And oh. I have, I'm, I'm receiving a call right now. Okay, okay, yeah. If that's the case, just keep participating so we hear your voice. Okay, thanks. Okay, good. All the week, Laura is kitchen manager. Yes, so yes. kitchen manager is in charge for, for uh, push, oh, purchasing uh, foods. Purchasing. <laughs> ah, okay. But, yeah. In in that case, number one answer is Laura. Laura is in charge. Okay, number number two. When, when is, is the dishwasher day of um Wednesday? Wednesday. Wednesday. Uh -huh. September sixth. Wednesday, September sixth, yeah. And number three, how long is Thomas break? 
Thirty minutes. The other time. The overtime is the sentence number two when you work more than the regular working. Oh no. When you. Yeah, when you work more than the regular hours. Okay, teacher. In the. Okay. The call, calling is the. to cell phone your workplace to let them, them know that you are going to be housing or lay. Good. Okay. Okay. She, la, shit, shit. Shit? Shift. Shift is um, the time on the day when a person works. Exactly. The time of the day when a person works. Yes. Okay. For nine. Maybe. Uh -huh. uh, how do you say uh, uh, Friday uh, eight in adelante? <laughs> and on. And Friday on. eight and on. For me, this is an answer. For okay. The question what? is for her vacation, no is for uh, three days or for example. Okay, yeah, it's talking about her vacation. Vacation in the day yeah. is Friday 8th September of, of September and on. Yes. How can... How can I work, uh, work uh, write uh, that expression? Okay, let me write it in the chat. Friday and on. Do you see the chat? Yes. Friday and yes. on. Ah, okay, Friday and on. Okay, or you can say Friday and after. After and on, in this case, are synonyms. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Friday and... And on. And on. Yeah. Or, or like okay. if you say, uh, what time can the doctor see me? He says 5 p.m. and on. 5 p.m. Oh, and okay. after. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yes. So it's a very uh, popular expression to indicate... Uh, after. Okay. Uh, yes. Cosas muy bonitas. Oh, sí. Okay. What are beautiful <laughs> things? <laughs> Where can you see beautiful things, Coralia? In some Okay. All right. Good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we are talking about my work. <laughs> okay. Good. Very good. Yes. It's good when when your um, concept of your work is nice. Yes. It's good. Yes. <laughs> it's a good sign. Yes. All right. So, Jimena, when, when will yes. the school...
His schedule is from 8 to 6. At 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. Is 2 or, or two? Two. <laughs> This is my question too. Uh -huh. what, what is the question? What, what is the um, correct form to express the um, when you start and when you finish working? Okay, so you say from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Oh, okay. From okay. Two. 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 From two. Um, two. Yes. Or you can say okay. from Monday to Friday. From mm. 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. Okay. okay. Yes. Thank you, okay. teacher. Okay. All right. When the, the other question, teacher. Yes. When do you use uh, since and until? Okay. Since indicates when the action begins. For example, I have lived in Lourdes since the year 2013. Okay. Desde el año tres. And I plan to live until God decides. Mm. Okay. Hasta. Uh, exactly. So since Hasta. indicates since until when, when the action begins and until indicates when the action will finish. Okay. Thank yes. You. All right. Good. Did Did you finish answering the five uh, questions? Yes. 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 All right. So let me visit one more room, and then we go back to the main session. Okay. Okay. All right. Washers day off is. Yes. Wednesday, September 6th. Yes. Yes. Okay, teacher. All right. The tree, how long is Thomas Ray? Okay, so let's go back. Okay. Okay, welcome back. Let's check and make sure that everybody has the same answers uh, on the exercise. Um, so what is the definition that you have for work schedule? We are on part five, page 26. What is work schedule? Anybody? A chart that a person of list of employees the day of the week and times of the day that they are required to work. Very good. That is exactly the meaning of work schedule. Okay, what about break? What is the meaning of break? Someone else. A small period of time when a person can stop working to eat or rest. Very good. Do you guys have breaks in your office, in your work? Never. Never? <laughs> okay. Only for lunch. Okay. <laughs> All right. What about shift? What's the meaning of shift? Somebody, anybody? The time, the time. of the day the when time a person of... works. Good. The time of the day when a person works. So it can be the morning shift, the afternoon shift, night shift, or graveyard. What about overtime? What's the meaning of overtime? When you work more than the regular working hours in a day or week. Good, good. So any extra work that a person when is doing is supposed to be work more paid. Week. Supposed to be paid. Okay, and the last one, call in. What's the meaning of call in? Going the telephone your workplace to let them know that you are going to be absent or late. Good, very good. So let's say you're driving your car or you're riding public transportation and there is a problem with the with the unit, you call them and say, Look, I'm going to be late, I'm having issues. All right. 
Um, any questions in part five? No questions? Okay, so let's go to part six. In part six, you had a, you have a schedule for four different people, five days a week, and every person in the chart is doing different uh, activities. So um, number one says, who is in charge of purchasing food from Tuesdays to Fridays? Who's responsible? Laura is in charge. Laura is in charge, very good. What about number two? When is the dishwasher's day off? Wednesday, Wednesday. September 6th. Wednesday, good. How long is Thomas break? 30 minutes. 30, 30 minutes. minutes. Mm -hmm. What is another form to say 30 minutes? Half, 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 half hour, half hour, exactly. Yeah, Okay, what about number four? What is Sophia's job in a restaurant and when is her vacation? Sophia is a bartender and um, her Good. vacation is on Friday and Saturday. Okay, Friday and Saturday, okay. So Friday and Saturday or someone was saying and her vacation is Friday and on or Friday and after, very good. Remember, you're supposed to say vacation, vacation, vacation. 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 Okay, and number five, when is Carlos on training and what is his schedule on Fridays? What's the answer for those two questions? Carlos is training only Tuesday uh -huh. and his schedule is from a.m to 6 p.m. and one hour break. Very good, very good, thank you. Any questions there? Questions, questions? No? Okay, so now we go to part seven. Uh, I will change you to work with, uh, with a different person and you will create a small, simple schedule uh, based on the activities that you have in your office. So use the schedule that we have in part six as an example, and then you can put names of, how do you say compañeros de trabajo in English? Co-workers. Co Co-workers, yes, co-workers. So in the exercise, we have Laura, Thomas, Sofia, and Carlos. So you choose four names that are real people in your in your work and assign different activities for each one of them. Are the instructions clear? Yes. Yes. Okay, so let me six, seven, and eight. Okay. Six. Seven. Six. Room seven, room seven, move to room eight, and I need one more, move to room eight, and then I will exchange here. I will exchange here. I will exchange here. I will exchange here. And I think that should be it. So let's see, let's see. All right, so let's do this. Wendy. Hi, teacher. 
How are you? Fine, and you? I'm doing okay, thank you. thank you. Let me assign you to a room. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> thank you. All right. Huh. Oh, Christian. Because Let's create a schedule. The Christian. He, he yes. worked at Promerica Bank. Promerica Bank. Bank. Uh -huh. for, for the five person. Five person. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Yeah. Mm. Tell us a name of your co workers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What are your co-workers' names, Christian? Repeat, Dijon. What are your uh, What are the names of your co-workers, of your partners in the office? What are the names? Carlos, Maria, Julio, okay. Cesar, <laughs> uh -huh. eh, Adriana. Eh, okay. Adriana. Carlos. Carlos. Adriana, Carlos. Este, Romeo. 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 Juliet. <laughs> no, not Um, Jolsi, he is in charge of the payment. Is he in payroll? Is he what? in payroll? Is he in payroll? I, I don't know what is the meaning. Planilla. Ah, uh, no, I am in the logistic area. Okay. Right now. Okay, mm. and the person that you're mentioning that he's in charge of paying? Yes, in but in pay for the clients, you have to check the okay. accounts, if the clients he paid or not, he have, she have to call his client. And the um, other men I mentioned is work in the logistic and drivers. Okay. All right. So the uh, he's in the collecting department. We can say. Yes. Okay. All right. So let me go here. Uh, uh, support the. Uh -huh. The 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 day. Support of technology. Support of technology, uh -huh. is important. Um, what more? What else? EM. Nine EM. Two. Six PM. Six PM. Mm -hmm. And Jose. Uh, ten. It's better uh, September. Ah. <laughs> no, puede ser ayer, we Okay, yes. This semana. This okay. week. This week. This week. Oh, this week. Yes. yes, this week. Mm -hmm. yeah. The same. 
the same person I I guessed. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Teacher. Yes, sir. We have to assign an activity for four person or four activities for one person. Uh, similar to the one that we have in part six. So you need to mention four people with different activities for three or four days. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. So it doesn't have to be exactly the same one that we have in the in the book. It can be a little bit different. Okay. Okay. All right. Bien. Like a chef. When uh, Monday. On Wednesday. No. Uh, Wednesday. On Wednesday and, and and Thursday too. Okay. And then we she will be a server. He will be a server. <laughs> she okay. will be a server. Okay. <laughs> it's, correct. Be. it's correct. It's <laughs> correct. <laughs> So in your case, you're mentioning names of people that the two of you know. Yes. Right? Yes, we are. Okay. That makes it uh, more, more interesting. Yeah, exactly. All right. Okay, and what that is? Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you? Uh, I'm the receptionist. I think the receptionist start eight at five. And they to lunch at uh, twelve. Okay. The Monday to uh, Friday. From Monday to Friday. From Monday. To Friday. To Friday, In yes. To Friday. And Saturday, start 8 at 12. Okay. And Rocio and Mercy, did you include uh, people in the schedule too? We are made the same schedule. Okay, so you already have all the names. How many names did you include in the schedule? Three. Three names. Okay, yes. three names is, is, is okay. It's good. Okay, teacher. All right. I start to work at uh, 4.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. What is it works? Mm. 4.30 p.m. a.m. It's driver. 4.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Very early. Yes, he has to pick up all the employees, employees of the oh, company. He is the, um, the driver? Uh -huh. Yes, he is the driver. He's a driver. Okay. Driver. Uh, Edwin has a, a break in a day? Yes. Always Driver. all How the many drivers times? and the co Driver. coordinator have an one and a half hour to break. Is his lunch. Okay. Oh. One hour and a half. Yes. That's one hour yeah. and a half. Oh, that's, 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 that's enough time to have breakfast and take a nap. <laughs> exactly, but uh, they not in always take all the time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he only take 30 minutes if the route is being so busy. Yeah, if the route is busy, mm -hmm. 
they only eat. Yes, and sometimes don't eat. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And his day off is always Sunday. Sunday too. All Saturday right. is he he works. Sunday. Uh, Sorry, uh, what do you say? Middle mi, middle term, me, medio medio día, part medio time. tiempo. Part time. Part time. Part time. Part time. Mm. On Saturdays. Always uh, Saturdays. Right. So how many hours does he work on Saturday? Four hours or five? Four hours. Four hours. Yes. Okay, good. And if they pass the four hours, we have to start to pay extra hours. Right, overtime. Overtime. Okay, good, good. Overtime. In this case, the Luis accountant, the, the schedule is similar. Paolo, from 8 to 6 p.m. and one hour of lunch. One hour. One hour. Uh -huh. the, the day of uh, Sunday only. He works Saturdays. Yeah. Mm. Mm, how? For example, uh, you have the meeting from 10, uh, 10 in the morning to 10.30. And the second co-worker, maybe they have the meeting from 10.30 to 11. I don't know the time of the yes difference hours hours, hours mm -hmm. yes or, or or days maybe we can put this in our schedule i think it's it's important yes very yes. important is that training training is necessary in all the areas it's the same teacher if you say feedback or it's different meaning. Uh, it's it's different. You can receive feedback even the first day of the interview. You go to a job interview and they ask you questions. Mm -hmm. So before you leave, they said, okay, but let me mention some observations to you. So the feedback usually starts uh, when you are in training or when you are already working mm -hmm. because feedback is retroalimentación. So mm -hmm. that usually comes after they observe you uh, doing something. So they give you suggestions, they make observations. and uh, But the training is like the very initial part of, of, of something. Mm -hmm. So the feedback can be at the beginning, in the middle, or when you're officially accepted, you can still receive feedback. Feedback. Yes. But training is when you start. Exactly. For example, ah, okay. Yeah, and many times, um, your acceptance in the in the office in the institution will depend if you pass the training or not. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, teacher. Thank you. All right. Many storage learning. Yes. Okay. Um, and, and so I'm
What oh. is like a <coughs> es a TV group? Uh -huh. Regularmente se conoce. Y yo estaba en events area. I work, I work for uh -huh. STV and make events for, uh, for example, first Congress uh -huh. and all this, but for the pandemic, uh -huh. I sell medic supplies were uh -huh. with the owner. Oh, okay. You, you have to change the, the... Yes, because my, my boss, he have to change the area for me. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that happens in, in, in different institutions, you know, with the emergency. Mm -hmm. They have to make changes. They move people from one uh, department to another. Mm -hmm. Yes, because, uh, for example, the events area, right now we are um, in pause, but mm -hmm. we, we want an, a contract with the international, Intercontinental Hotel and Resorts, and mm -hmm. he started to work here this week. So some of, some of us, we have to start to work with her, with there with them with them yeah. but uh, the um, i don't know how to say those demás the others the others, the others are in pause okay yes. mm -hmm. so that means that you will have to be physically present in the hotel wendy mm, no i have to monitor the the technicians uh-huh the technicians uh -huh. I have to monitor it then, and if they need something, I have to go. I have to 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 visit all the storage we have in in the hotel. But if they don't need nothing, no, I only you have stay to in the office. Okay. Yes. All right, that's good. All yeah. right, so only less Jolsi, right? Uh, the yes. last one. Yes. Mm -hmm. The last one. Yo, the six, the two. The last one, me. Mm-hmm. Yes, because you don't have to go to your house and go back. Yes. How much time is your lunch, Magdalena? Ah, uh, my my lunch. How much time do you have for your lunch? Oh, my lunch. Uh, one no. hour, two hours. Um. 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And do you live near the university? Mm. What's the distance from your house to the university? Five minutes. Um, and out, um, by car? By car. Oh. Uh, uh, um, um, be, uh, um, Transito. If there is traffic, yes. if there is it, traffic, is very is is very traffic is fifteen or 19, twenty minutes, nineteen no, minutes, nineteen minutes. Okay. Uh, pero um, my my lunch is. Lo hago en my house. So you have lunch in your house? Yes. Okay. Good. All right. Teacher, yes. Como, uh, how do you? Eh, eh, ¿cómo se dice? How, do, how you, do you say? How do you say? How do you say? Eh, el, el, la maternidad, cuando nos dan dos horas para lactar. Uh huh. In English. Okay, so they give you two hours for feeding the baby. Feeding. Feeding. Feeding means okay. alimentar. So you said I received two hours for feeding the baby. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Did you finish with the with the schedule you guys were making? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so let's go back. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Good, very good. Let me take attendance before I forget. All right. All right, so let me take attendance before we continue. Uh, Sofia Stephanie? Present. Okay. Fernando Arturo? Present, teacher. Good. Uh, Coralia? Coralia. Coralia. Coralia was here. Hmm. Okay. Ronald Humberto. Ronald. Hello, hello. Okay, so, so you're here. Ronald, Ronald. Okay. Uh, Katia Marcela. Present. Okay. Jimmy Rodriguez. Sir. Christian Alexander. Present. Okay. Josué Edgardo. Present. Good. Uh, Jimena Alexandra. I'm here, teacher. Very good. Uh, Samuel Rosales. Present. Okay, good. Uh, Rocio Mejia. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Mercy Carolina. Present. Okay. Araceli De Santos. Present. Very Present. good. Uh, Maria del Carmen. Present teacher. Good. Helen Mercedes. Present. Good. Luis Alberto. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Stephanie Montano. Here, teacher. Good. Christian Omar. Present, teacher. Good. Wendy Guadalupe. Present, teacher. And Magdalena Emperatriz. Present, teacher. Okay, very good. So let me confirm. Uh, Coralia, are you here, Coralia? Okay. Yes, anyway. I'm here. Okay, you're here. Okay, Coralie is here. And okay, good. So um, now that everybody's here, let me remind you that uh, your attendance is extremely important. And, uh, you know, like uh, every time that you connect to the sessions, the amount of minutes that you guys are connected are uh, is recorded. So you guys got to make sure that you are present um, every day. Okay, um, let's go back to what we were doing. Um, any questions about the schedule you guys were making? How many people do you include in your schedule? Five. Five. And how many days did you include in the schedule? All week. All week. And what time did the schedule start? From 8 to, to 8 p.m. 12 hours. Yeah. <laughs> how That's do you a... say in English, explotador? Uh, you explode. <laughs> we you are explode. explode. <laughs> yes. Because uh, we need uh -huh. to earn some money. Okay. Yeah. You, you, um, some people uh, call he's it. He's a the, lawyer. Yes. <laughs> it's the sweatshop. <laughs> this, let, let me write this here. The, do you remember how to say sudar in English? Sweat? Yeah. Sweat. Sweatshop. So the sweatshop, the sweatshop is a place where people work uh, long hours, the sweatshop, yes. All right, anyways, uh, does anybody have any comments or questions about making the schedule? 
about vocabulary or pronunciation? Me, teacher. Yes. Jimena. For example, in our exercise, we put different hours. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I, o sea, no sé si hay una palabra como decir horario diferente. Different schedules. Okay. Different schedules. Or you can say that people work in rotative hours. Rotative. But rotative. when you say different schedules, the message is very clear. So let's say Ronald works from uh, 6 in the morning to 2 p.m. Fernando works from 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. And Coralia works from 11 p.m. to the following day. So everybody has different schedules. Yes. Okay. Thank All you. Right. Good. Um, any other questions or comments? Anybody? No. How do you say contratar in English? Hire. Hire. What is the opposite of hire? Fire. 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 Okay. So hire is a word that everybody likes. Fire is a word that everybody doesn't hate or everybody hates exactly all right good all right so let's go to um uh, today's uh main topic do you remember the session when we were working with comparatives yes okay so we say uh what is the comparative of small Smaller. 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 Okay. The comparative of cheap? Cheaper. 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 Very good. What about uh, the comparative of pretty? Prettier. Prettier. Very good. Prettier. <laughs> All right. What if I said uh, expensive? More expensive. expensive. More expensive. Very good. More expensive. Good. So remember, when we are comparing short or long adjectives, uh, if we're talking about short adjectives, we only add ER. Smaller, cheaper, prettier. If the adjective is long, you should say more expensive, more beautiful, more distant, uh, more dangerous. That is when you are mentioning two things in one sentence. So you say Mexico is bigger than Guatemala. Mexico is bigger than Guatemala. Mm -hmm. So you're comparing. So today's um, lesson uh, is about using superlatives. So once again, when you're comparing when you're mentioning two things in one sentence, you're using comparatives. If you're mentioning three or more, you use superlative forms. Let me show you a, a document that I have. Uh -huh. Okay, can you see the document? Yes, it is. Okay. What is the name of the of the of the document? Superlative, superlative adjectives. Okay. adjectives. Okay, and do you see the red letters? Yes. Used to yes. compare yes. three or more things. Exactly. More things. So once again, if you're mentioning two things you use comparatives. If you mention three things or more, you use superlatives. So how many animals do you have in this picture? Three. 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 What's the name of this animal? Wolf. Wolf. Whale. This Wolf. one here? Elephant. Elephant. And the last one? Mouse. Mouse. Okay, mouse. a mouse. All right, good. So we're comparing three different animals. So once again, 
when you're using the superlative form in short adjectives, you have to use EST at the end. So for example, what is the biggest animal in the world? El más grande en el mundo. What's the biggest animal in the world? The whale. The whale. What is the smallest animal? The worm. The, the, the smallest. Uh, the smallest. The smallest. Um, okay, so le, let's say we're comparing the whale, the mm -hmm. elephant, mm -hmm. and the mouse. So what mm -hmm. is the smallest? The mouse. The mouse. Right. So you're comparing three different animals, so you're supposed to use the superlative form. Mm -hmm. So who is the nicest person in your family? The nicest person in the family? Me. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. Who is the tallest person in your family? Your father, your brother, your sister? So My, my father. Okay, your father. What is, who is the strongest? My brother. Who is the weakest? My baby sister. And what is the longest river in El Salvador? The longest river in El Salvador. Lempa. Right. Now, in El Salvador, we have more than three rivers. So when you want to use the superlative form, you will say, el más largo en El Salvador. Mm. So the longest. So, once again, to use the superlative form, you use EST, but it is mandatory that before you do this, you have to include the definite article. So, do you remember how to pronounce T-H-E? T on the How do you pronounce T-H-E? Do you say D or the? Uh, I don't remember the biggest yeah. okay so let me let me um let me see this here okay so you say the longest river the longest river the longest river in that case this uh, word right here is pronounced the, the longest river. The, 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 the longest. The easiest subject. The easiest. The easiest subject is science, let's say. Science. So look here. This is not today's uh, session, but it's necessary that you guys know it. So with the last one, you're supposed to pronounce D. Ah, mm. uh, because the the next word is uh -huh. with vowel. Exactly. With vowel. Exactly. exactly. Very good. So if the following sound starts with a consonant, you're supposed to say the, the longest <laughs> river. If the following word or the following sound starts with a vowel, A-E-I-O-U, this will be pronounced D, D. So <laughs> the longest river, the easiest subject is science. So th that's just a parenthesis because um, this is something that you guys will be pronouncing uh, a lot. So um, are there any questions in the first part of the explanation? No? What's the meaning of weak? Uh, weakest? Weak, weak is the opposite of strong. They're mm -hmm. opposites. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. So, how do you say me siento más fuerte que ayer? I feel, I feel stronger than yesterday. Exactly. I feel stronger than yesterday. I feel stronger than yesterday. So, look here. 
with the second explanation, easy, busy, pretty, heavy, funny, smelly, happy, and friendly, they finish with letter Y. Y. When you use the superlative form, letter Y disappears and you write I. So easy, the easiest. Busy, the busiest. Pretty, the prettiest. So if you notice, uh, letter Y disappears. Letter Y disappears. And then you include I. Now this second part, this second explanation applies only when you are writing. So when you are using the superlative form, remember letter Y disappears and then you add I. And that's the reason why you have this here. Now we go to the next part, the most beautiful. How do you say the most beautiful in Spanish? La más hermosa. Uh -huh. The most beautiful girl. So how many women are there in the world? There are millions. So you say the most beautiful. What is the most dangerous part in El Salvador? So you mention it. The most intelligent, the most understanding. So once again, you use the superlative form when you are including three things, three people or more in the sentence. Any questions or comments? How do you say, ¿Cuál es el animal más lento del mundo? ¿Cuál es el animal más lento del mundo? How do you say lento in English? Slow. 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 Uh -huh. The slowest, exactly. Oh, what is the slowest animal in the world? Okay, what is the slowest fan animal in the world? What is the opposite of slow? Fast. 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 How do you say, ¿cuál es el más rápido del mundo? What? Uh, which what is are the, the uh, faster, faster which animal is the, in the world? The fastest. The fastest. fastest. Right. Fastest how many, how many animals are there in the world? Ooh, there are a lot. Mm -hmm. So when you say, ¿cuál es el más rápido? You have to use the superlative form. So what is the fastest animal in the world? In the world. What is the slowest? Okay. Uh, any questions or comments here? Um, it's very clear. Okay. So I will give you exactly five minutes. I will ask you to work in pairs. And you will have to explain your friend what you understood. So let me... Okay, add a room. So room nine. Room nine. Room one. Room one, give me a second. Okay, move to room 10. Move to room 10. Room nine. Room four. Room five. Down, down. Room five. 
Okay, so right now your mission is to explain um, what you understood. So let's do this. <clears throat> Example, um, the, the word have two or more syllables. Um, maybe one example for this is difficult. Mm -hmm. I... Uh, when do you say with the, the animal, um, uh, the smallest in the world? That you have consonant, vowel, and consonant. So you need to, to duplicate the, the, the last one. So after that, you need to add EST. Okay, okay. In this case, when the word teacher. No. <laughs> Fernando have a question. Fernando, what is your question? Okay, teacher. Uh, my question is. Uh, uh, for the example, uh, what time is the user in the world bigger or smaller? Okay, you say bigger and smaller when you are mentioning only two things in one sentence. So who is bigger, you or your brother? Oh, my brother. Who is faster? Uh, Mike Tyson or Holyfield, Mike Tyson, because you're mentioning only two things or two people. You say, oh, okay. what, is, what is bigger, Guatemala or El Salvador? Guatemala is bigger. When you mentioning two things, when you mention three or more, that's when you use the superlative form. Okay. 
How, how many countries are there in Central America, Fernando? Mm. How many countries? How many countries? How many countries in Central America? One, two, three, four. How many countries? Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras? Uh, seven, seven, seven countries. Seven countries. What is... One, two, three, yes. Okay, what is bigger? Guatemala um, or Costa Rica? Guatemala. Okay, what yes. is the biggest? Guatemala, Costa Rica, or Nicaragua? Nicaragua. Nicaragua, okay. Okay, so <laughs> when you mention three or more, you have to use the superlative form. When you mention only two, then you use the comparative form. Okay, teacher. All right. Okay. Okay, good. Room four, room five. Sophia. Hi. So you, you had a, a, an accident or something? Yes, in my leg. Really? Yes. Can you walk? Uh, yeah. How do you say cojear? Limp. Limp. I limp. You limp. So yeah. where, where in the leg is the injury? In the knee? Near the foot? No. In the, in the part of high leg, but when I sit, uh, you well, feel it. I feel it, yes. Okay, and did this happen in your house or in your work? In, in my house. Okay, so mm. did you go to the clinic or something, or did you fix it in your house? I fixed uh, yesterday, but I heard, I heard, yes. Yes, I, I I think maybe go to the doctor, but I don't know. <laughs> but the, the cut is not too deep? It's not too serious? Not is a cut, it's a... Um, Scratch? No, it's, it's, it's like a, a barro, but not is a barro, it's, it's all the two okay. more big. Oh, yeah. It's an, like an eruption. Yes, but I, I heard really more. Okay. Yes. Uh, are you taking any medicine for that? Yes. Okay. Um, antibiotic. Antibiotic. Okay. Um, yes. So I, I hope you feel better, uh, Sofia. Thank you. All right. <coughs> what happened? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> Who's bothering you, Helen? The 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 executive chef. Oh, <laughs> yeah, tell him to prepare some sandwiches for me. Dice que por favor le prepare los sandwiches para él. Ah, okay. Okay, dice mentira, mentira. So, so what what time can I go? <laughs> well, ah, cuando puede venir ah, fin de semana, venga. Okay, very no, good. It's more cheap. It's cheaper. Okay, very yeah, it's cheaper. Cheap. All right. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Okay. Yes. Are, are there any... Pre... Excuse are, me? Are there any questions with the explanation? Yes. What, who is the Prince Gorman in El Salvador for you? Um, I don't know if I should say my wife or my mother. Oh. <laughs> yes. Teacher, or my daughter. Superlative adjective. What is it? Put in practice super, superlative exactly. adjective. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so the, the prettiest woman in El Salvador, I, it, it's my wife. Okay. And also my mother and my three daughters. So I have different um, women that I consider the prettiest. <laughs> Great teacher. Okay, good. So, is the explanation clear, Rocio? Yes, teacher. I we have a, we take some example for make a different question and put it practice the different verbs, words. Excuse me. Uh huh. And okay. Yes, Very good. All right. Nice.
Mm -hmm. Ajá. Is the explanation clear, Magdalena, Araceli, and Christian Alexander? I do. I, I... Huh? Araceli, I cannot hear you. Magdalena, can you hear Araceli? No, teacher. No. Christian, can you hear Araceli? Um, so, so. So, so. Okay. I think Araceli has connection problems. Okay, is is this explanation clear? Is is this clear? No. No, you don't understand this explanation? Christian Alexander? Repeat teacher. Uh, is this explanation clear? Está clara la, la explicación? Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. All right. Um, yes, um, Magdalena. And the sentence is, uh, uh, how do you say, elaborar? Is made? Is made before in the, the biggest or in the for the Asian or the for the most? Exactly. So if, if you are using short adjectives, you say mm -hmm. the biggest, the smallest, the nicest. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you're using long adjectives, then mm -hmm. it's yeah. necessary that you include the most. Ah, oh, okay. Um, yes. The the example, the sentence, I no, I no. How do you say important? It doesn't uh, matter. Important before the the is, is small uh, superlatives or long superlative. Okay, if it's short superlative, you will I'm say sure. uh -huh. the biggest, okay. the smallest, the nicest. No. Uh -huh. If it's long superlative, you you need to say the most. Yes, teacher. And um, uh, the example. Uh, Es eh, the sentence, o sea, para hacer las oraciones tenemos que usar las tres formas. Not necessarily. Ah, oh, okay. It, o sea, it, it, eh, it, it, it depends if the adjective is short or long. Ah, oh, okay. Yes. Okay. yes. Es similar a, a, a la uh -huh. primera lección que vimos cuando hacíamos ¿Sí? el comparativo, que dependía okay. si era adjetivo corto o adjetivo largo. O adjetivo largo. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Okay, very good. Let me visit one more room. Uh, 160 students, uh, but my payment uh, was the same. smaller. No, it's smaller oh. in, the, in the other work. Okay. Job. But now you have more, more <laughs> work. More work eh, and more eh, pain. Students. Oh, and more pain. Mm -hmm. Okay. So where did you work before? Jose Edgardo? Eh, I worked I work in uh, Colegio Hermanas Somascas and La Asunción. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So those are religious uh, schools. Yes, yes. All right. Both, and uh, the currently, my currently job, uh, también, como se dice? Is also religious. Also. Uh -huh. It's also re religious. Religious, okay. Yeah, you know, I went to, to the place where you work, I applied, and I passed all the interviews. And one day they called me and they said, uh, Francisco, you, you pass all the evaluations. Uh, <laughs> but the father has one question for you. And I said, ask me. He wants to know if you're Catholic. And, and honestly, at, 
I don't, I'm not a religious person. So I said, not really, but I don't have any problems working with a Catholic school. And they said, okay, so we will call you back. But they <laughs> never did. <laughs> I, I, um, in my case, I applied the, the year, the, before, how, how say the year name? before. Ah the year before and I don't approve a, a, I, I I was in the interview yeah and and they asked me the same thing question uh-huh the same question and and I said uh, no I I I I'm don't. Not I don't. Uh huh. I am not Catholic, and they don't don't call me. Exactly. And the the next year, I I uh, tried again, and they don't remember uh, that you had applied. Uh huh. And they ask again, but. Uh, Eh, ellos eh, esta vez no, o sea, they lo que didn't ask you. El, yes, no, no, eh, they asked me, and I said the same answer. Okay. Eh, but but eh, I think the time to to contract is eh, was short. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, it, it happens. Yeah. You know, I worked in Colegio Santa Ines like five years ago, and they asked me, uh, "Mr. Marroquin, are you Catholic?" And I said, "No, I'm not Catholic, but I don't have a problem working in a religious school." And the the person interviewing me said, "Don't worry." Uh, we will make you Catholic. And I said, okay, if you say so, you know, but they gave me the job. <laughs> yeah. Ah, they, they don't give. No, they gave it to me. They gave ah, they it to me. Ah, yeah. okay. but, they, but they usually ask you, what religion do you practice or what religion mm -hmm. do you profess? And, they said, and, I, and I am too honest, you know, because I don't, I don't lie. I say, no, I'm not Catholic. And, but... Now I know what to answer when I apply next time. Teacher, <laughs> how do you say monja? Nun. Nun. N U N. N U N. Yes. N U N. And in plural is nuns. Nuns, yes. Yeah, um, Santa Ines is a nuns uh, school. Mm -hmm. Yes, so the nuns okay. are, are, are responsible for all the decisions they make. Yeah. Yes. All right, so let's go back to the main session. Okay. okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, are there any questions with uh, the superlative topics? I explained the chart. Uh, you guys were explaining to each other. Uh, are there any questions or comments? The exception, teacher, in, in this case, in, in superlative adjectives. Okay, uh, there are no exceptions, uh, Stephanie. So okay. if, if the adjective is short, you always need to include EST, no okay. exceptions. If the adjective is long, you will always say the most. There are no okay. exceptions. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Good. Very good. Any other questions or comments, class? No. Okay. So that was the theory. Now it's time that you guys do the practice. Um, superlatives, new share.
Teacher. Yes. No question. Yes, ask uh, me. For the, for the pronunciation about the and the. Uh huh. Yes. Is a uh, pronunciation only apply for a uh, superlative? Uh, no. For the adjectives or no. for the all words? Oh, for it, it's general. It's oh. general. So you said, um, I like the food from La Calaca, for example, the food. Mm -hmm. Or I can say, I need the eraser for the board. I need the eraser for the board. So it's general. It's not only for comparatives and superlatives. Oh, okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, good. Does anybody else have a... a other questions or comments? No? Okay, so this is the time where you will practice um, what we were discussing. So breakout rooms. 7-11, okay. So I will exchange with her. I will exchange with her. I will exchange with her. I will exchange with him. Uh, exchange with him and exchange with him. So let me see. Mm -hmm. So I will. With. Okay. All right, so let's do this. Can you see the questions that I'm sharing? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, so I will move this person to 11 and move to 11. All right, here we go. Hello, Jimena. Teacher, I'm alone. Really? Yeah. Oh, Sophia, she's she's back. No. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Sophia uh, has to take some medicine. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Do you guys have the questions ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yeah. Very good. So let me. Go back here. Uh, teacher. Yes. We have a question. The number Ask one. Me. The number one says, "Who is the best?" But who is the best in what? Yes, uh, that's a very good question. <laughs> who is the best in soccer? Who is the best in music? Who uh, is the about... best? So, so you have to include the compliment. Ah. Oh. Or if you want to keep it simple, who is the best? I am. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, for the soccer, um, Marcela, who is mm -hmm. the best? You and me. Uh, how do you say Camarones? 
I don't shrimp. remember. Shrimp. Uh, shrimp. 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 Yes. Uh, but that shrimp is are what guas guas eh, estaban arruinados. Oh, they were bad. Uh, they were they was bad. This is the really. Yeah. And did and, you eat the shrimps? Yes. When was this? I'm, I'm sorry. When was this? When did you eat the shrimp? Ah, in a restaurant and bar. <laughs> but when was this? Last year? Two, two year? years ago. Two years oh, two ago. Two years ago. Uh, around okay. Two years ago. All right. Yeah. For me, it, it, that is uh, my, the most disgusting food. Okay. You have the most difficult thing about is Studying English, mm. the pronunciation English. <laughs> uh -huh. The most difficult is the um, the pronunciation and the um, expensive vocabulary. What, what question are you discussing? Uh, number four, teacher. What's the most difficult thing about studying English? Okay, and what is the answer for that question? Uh, in my case, it's most difficult the pronunciation and the remember the word. Okay. Yes, pronunciation is, is one of the issues uh, where people have more difficulty. Yeah. Okay. Me too, me too. Just, just the, 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 the pork, I, I don't like. Yeah, that is not. Yeah. Teacher, uh, yes. no, I have a question. Yes, how ask me. Say, how do you say uh, tomar sopa? Drink oh. soup. Drink soup? Yes. Oh, okay. It's the same. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, next question. When was the happiest period of your life? What? When, when was the happiest period of your life? When you were a kid, when you were a teenager, when you were, when you were an adult now? Um. In, in La Union. Yes, I was living in La Union because it I was, was studying. It was the, the, the happiness period of your one life. Of, one of the most, because I learned a lot, I went to many um, studying travels. And then I went two weeks to Chalatenango. So uh, related to living in La Union, I did all those
Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Which one are you doing? Which one are you discussing? On the... In the number four. The number four. Okay. What is the yeah. answer for number four? Um, what the most difficult thing about studying English. Okay. And what is your answer to that question? Uh, teacher, the most difficult thing in English for me is the pronunciation. Yeah. I, I need the practice. Practice. <laughs> okay. Well, you're, you're on the yes. right track. You, you're doing okay. So you're doing good. Yeah. Pronunciation, okay, pronunciation is not that easy, especially because you write one way and you pronounce different, you know? Yes. So it takes a lot of practice. Yes. <laughs> the, for me, it's the writing. Okay. Now, yes. when you say writing, do you mean grammar, spelling, grammar. or punctuation? Both. Uh, both, because I I learn a little bit easy uh, when I hear uh, some expression. Okay. But the grammar is difficult for me mm -hmm. because yeah. for me the grammar is is like born or <laughs> I don't like language and but but uh, talk in English uh, yes I, I like good but uh, study the 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 grammar is is uh, it's it's boring for you <laughs> yes yes yeah I understand uh, yeah grammar I think grammar is something secondary. Um, your priority has to be pronunciation and fluency. Grammar is 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 a uh, grammar can wait. Okay. <laughs> yes, teacher. Uh, the, the grammar is sometimes forgotten. Forgotten, teacher. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. And, and and it's difficult to remember grammar when you're speaking because you have to be spontaneous. You know, mm. and if you start thinking like, okay, what is the grammar rule for you, you cut the fluency. <laughs> yeah. So it's good that you're not paying too much attention to grammar and you're focusing more on your fluency and accuracy. That's good. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well. The question is in pass. Uh, Don't use the translate, when, Christian. Yeah, yes, uh, I need super Google. Which, no, which number no, are you always. doing? <laughs> We're practice teacher in number uh, three, three. Number three. When was the happiest period of your life? When you were a kid, when you were a teenager, or now that you are an adult? Period can be in some, some can be a moment also. Yeah, sure, sure. It can be a moment too. Mm, I ask for Christian the same question. Okay, and, in and, this what, moment. And, and what is your answer to that question, Rocio? What is the happiest moment of your life? My childhood. When you graduated from university. Yes, can be my 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 happy period in my life. It was when I uh, graduated of the university okay. last year. What career, Rocio? International. I graduated from international affairs. Oh, okay, good, good, yes, nice. Teacher. That's good. So you studied English before. Yes, like uh, eight years ago, I studied English in the university also, but it's not the same for the way the, the, the language. Right. It's different, totally different in the, in the university, in the academy, totally different. Right. Yeah, it's um, in the university, um, you know, they see English as a subject. So it's a subject and sometimes the students, 
they only worry about the score, about the grade. Okay, did I pass? I didn't pass. But in an academy, their objective is different. You know, they want to make you speak. Yes, totally agree. In in a university, I was a, a Australian teacher. Okay. In the acento. The acento accent. Was, the accent. The accent was totally different. Exactly. It was difficult to try which, to. Which university, Rocio? UFG. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, so. Teacher. Yeah, people from Australia, they have the British accent. And um, some people think that they have, the, the pronunciation is more difficult than Americans. He, he, he talks very, very fast. Okay. Do you remember his name? No. No? No. Uh... Uh, I forgot the day. <laughs> okay, no problem. All right, see you later. Thank you. The most difficult things about studying English is when I listen to something because for me it's difficult to, to know when people uh, are talking very fast. Mm -hmm. And one example could be when two black people are speaking. So mm -hmm. it's difficult to understand the content of the conversation that, I mean, I try to, 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 uh, to analyze, uh, anal analyze. analyze analyze the conversation, but, but it's, it's difficult because they, they use a, a lot of slangs. Right, yes. and they have a different accent too. Yeah, it's true. Definitely, okay. But for the pandemic change, for November. I think I don't know. November. Okay. Maybe for November the movie theaters. Possible. I don't hear the pandemic. I have to see. <laughs> <laughs> Marcela, do you go to the cinema a lot? Yes. Before the pandemic, every Friday. Okay. Saturday. Yes. And what is your favorite type of movies? Marvel. <laughs> oh, Marvel. Yes, I want to see Black Widow. Okay, good, good. And you, Wendy, do you go to the cinema? Yes, I love go to the cinema. Uh, I agree with uh, Marcela. I love the movies for comics like DC or Marvel. Uh -huh. But I am so fan for Harry Potter. Okay. And all the movies about magic. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is that? Science fiction? Uh, no, it's just like Harry Potter and their spin off like uh, Fantasy Beasts and Where to Find It, for example. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Good, good. Yeah, so maybe soon they will open the cinemas again. Yes, this, the new site. Uh, in September will be open the movie theater. Okay. But, you know. but I imagine that they will have restrictions to open again. Yes, I imagine. Yeah. Maybe uh, they have to um, separate regulate. Uh -huh. Yes, or separate uh, seats. Yes, maybe like uh, you're sitting here and maybe the following two seats will be with nobody. I don't know, but they will have to take measures. Yes, I, I think that uh, that rule the movie theaters uh, have to consider. <clears throat> right, yes, they have to be conscious about uh, taking care of people. Exactly. Okay, so I think it's time to go back. Ladies and gentlemen, are there any questions uh, with the conversation you guys were having? Uh, me, teacher. Yes. What is the meaning of or 
the translation uh -huh. for the number nine. For number nine. Yes. What do you think it would be like to be the most beautiful? Okay. Uh, ¿Qué piensa usted que sería ser la persona más bonita o más guapo en el mundo? Uh, ¿Cómo okay. se sentiría usted? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay. that's the translation. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, does anybody else have any questions or comments? No. Teacher, in yes. in the question number nine with uh, Sophie, we we understand another thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you understood differently. <laughs> who is the who the most beautiful? Would, the most uh -huh, handsome. Yeah. And we talk. <laughs> <laughs> so you have different opinions. Yes, teacher. Yeah. So the question says, uh, ¿Qué cree usted? ¿Cómo sería ser el más bonita o el más guapo? Yeah. Okay. So that's why you need to be, uh, you need to read more carefully next time. Okay. Uh, anybody else has any comments or questions before you guys are dismissed? No? Okay, so once again, thank you for being here today. We had excellent uh, attendance today. So uh, keep it like that. Thank you very much for your time. I'll be seeing you tomorrow, same place, same time. Have a good night. Have a good night. Good night, good night, good night everybody. Bye-bye. Good, 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 good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Coralia. Have a good night, Coralia. <laughs>